Hello everybody, this is Daniel from MA Lighting International Tech Support. This time I would like to invite you to a short journey from the planning to the programming. We will have a look at a complete workflow starting with our plan and to get the data from our plan directly in our lighting control system to start programming immediately. And we will also have a look how to connect our GrandMA3 lighting control system to external visualizers. But first of all, let's start what happens first, our lighting plan. Here we can see a Vectorworks plan of a small club installation. So we can see some trusses, we can also see some stage elements here, and we can also see some fixtures hanging in the rig. With the fixtures we can see that we have all the information here available. So of course the 3D position, the fixture itself, and what is very important, a GDTF file is included. GDTF stands for General Device Type Format. This is a unified standard to describe fixtures and can be used in planning tools, in visualizations and also in your lighting control software. What we can see is that the GDTF file is chosen here and will be exported when we export this plan in a minute. What else can we see? Scrolling down we can also have a look at the DMX addresses. So the universe and the DMX address which is set in our lighting plan. Now we want to bring all this information directly to our console. And this is where MVR comes in the game. What we can do is to export this lighting plan as MVR. MVR stands for My Virtual Rig and provides us the possibility to exchange data, including 3D environment and fixture data, from planning tools to visualizers and even to lighting control systems. So we go to export and we say export MVR. Within the exporter we can see all the different objects which will be exported with this MVR data. So like the trusses, the stage decks and the moving lights of course. And on the right column we can see the different GDTF files which are included with this MVR export. We can see the GDTF mode and the number of fixtures we will get with this MVR export. Now let's come back to our GrandMA3 on PC software. As you can see at the moment this show file is very empty, so no fixtures in there, but this will be changed in the next couple of seconds. We go to our patch and within the patch we can find the possibility to import an MVR file here. So we open this, we select the USB stick where we stored the MVR file, we can find it here and we just import this MVR file directly to our patch. At the end of this process we can see that all the different stage panels, that the trusses and the fixtures are part of this MVR file. So you can see the fixtures for example with the respective fixture type. Remember we also exported GDTF and we can import GDTF in the GrandMA3 on PC software. So all the fixture types are correct the different DMX modes are displayed and you can see the patch address. What else can we see? When we go to the full mode of our patch and scroll to the far right, we can see all the different 3D positions. So X, Y and Z data, also the rotations. This is all part of the MVR file. And when we go back, we can also find that we have layers and classes here. So you know in some of your planning tools you can define layers and classes for the different objects. And these layers and classes are also exported and imported with the MVR file. One advantage of this could be that we enable our filtering and we only want to see the fixtures which are on the floor layer for example. So we can simply filter this and use the exact layers we used in our planning tool as well. An outstanding thing about the MVR data is that it is bidirectional, so we can import the MVR file, but we can also make changes in our patch or in our 3D window and then export it back to our planning tool. This is the real workflow from planning to programming. When we close this patch now, we can immediately start programming with our fixtures. So we open up a fixture sheet, for example, and we open a 3D, and in the 3D window we can already see our small club setup, including the trusses, including the stage elements and of course our moving lights. 
What else do we need? We need a color picker, for example, and we want to control our fixtures. So we start to bring up the Levantes, for example, and we give them a color, and you can see that it works. Let's control some more fixtures. We bring them to full as well, and we use the follow mode in our 3D window to control the position directly in our 3D. So you can see everything is ready coming from the MVR file to use it directly in our GrandMA3 on PC software. But what if we want to use an external visualization tool? So connecting our GrandMA3 on PC software directly with an external visualizer. Let's have a look how this works. Here we can see a computer where the external visualizer vision is running. Now we can use the MVR file again to get our 3D environment and our fixtures to this plan. So what do we do? We go to File and we open up the MVR file we exported from the Vectorworks plan before. So we can use the same file in the planning tool, in the visualizer and in our console or on PC software. We select this and open this up and you can see welcome to our small club installation. Now we want to control this visualizer from our GrandMA3 software. What the external visualizer needs, it needs the GrandMA3 Whiskey partnership. When the visualizer signed up for this GrandMA3 Whiskey partnership, we can simply connect the GrandMA3 on PC software or a console with the visualizer via our network protocol MANET3. We have a look at the DMX tab and we change the DMX provider. You can find the MANET3 in the list of the DMX providers immediately and we can select this. We press OK and then we have to select the software version we are using for our GrandMA3 software. In this case, this is the correct software version. If you use a different GrandMA3 software version, you can simply use the updater and with the GrandMA3 Whiskey software update your connection to the external visualizer. When we are working now on our real setup, so with real consoles and processing units, of course we could use directly the parameters we have in our system to control our Vectorworks vision now. But in our setup we are working on the on-PC software and we want to use the external visualizer to pre-program our show file. That's the place where the WSKI helps us. We simply connect the WSKI via USB to the computer with the external visualizer running. And then the WSKI will act as a dongle to unlock all the parameters we need to control this external visualizers. So up to a maximum of 250,000 parameters in a GrandMA3 lighting control system. In the GrandMA3 on PC software we have a look at our network now. In the network window we can find our on PC running a session and we want to add the WSKI connection to our network session. So we have a look at the devices which are not in our session and we can find the computer with its name and the type visualization and dongle. So we can see there is an external visualizer running which can use the MANET3 connection and also have a GrandMA3 WSKI connected to enable all the necessary parameters. We just select this, invite the station and it will join our session directly. So in our session we have the GrandMA3 on PC and the external visualizer. Now we can close this and immediately control our fixtures. So we just select some of them, bring them to full. You can see the visualizer is running and our fixtures are controlled. Bring some more fixtures to full now, choose a color and we could immediately start to pre-program our show. Storing some presets, playbacks and simply get creative. As you can see, we can easily transfer data from our planning tool directly to our GrandMA3 lighting control system, thanks to GDTF and MVR. And we can also connect our lighting control system to external visualizers using the GrandMA3 WSKI connection. If you like to get more information about this, please get in contact with your local MA distributor or us directly via sales at malighting.com.
Thank you very much for your attention.